How's it going guys? Derek here from Addictive Tips. Today we're going to be tackling dependency issues on Debian. So right here I've downloaded a Debian package from the internet. It's the Discord package. So I'm going to install it and I will show you what it, what it means to have dependency errors on Debian. So to start off do sudo dpkg tack i and just install your package and uh, once I install it you'll see what I'm talking about. So dependency problems prevented configuration of Discord. And so it's telling me that these packages are not available. So now there are a couple ways I can fix this. Right now I could fix it easily by just typing in sudo apt install f, and that's perfect if I'm used to downloading packages through the terminal and I do it that way. And uh, that, that way is just sudo apt install f. Another way is through the Synaptic Package Manager, which we will be covering in this video. So install Synaptic, and uh, get that going. Information on how to get Synaptic working if you don't have it already is in the description. But once you open up Synaptic, it's gonna tell you that you have one broken package on your system. You use the broken filter to locate it. So you can go over here, custom filters, and select broken. And now we see that Discord is broken. So now we can correct the dependency error by clicking package and then go to setting, or sorry, edit and fix broken packages. And then I click apply. Now it's going to download all of the dependencies that it needs. And uh, these are all the dependencies it will, it will install. So I click the apply button and it will take care of everything. And uh, from there we can click close and then we can open up Discord, which is under internet, I believe. And Discord runs like it should. and. Uh, this is basically what you do. If you've ever downloaded an app from the internet, not from the repos, and you have dependency errors, don't freak out. Just open up Synaptic or use your trusty terminal and everything will be fine. Anyways, guys, I hope this video was helpful. I know that dependency errors can be quite annoying, but there is an easy way to deal with them. So again, I hope you guys like this video and I will see you in the next one.